Neil Dicker. I've been a long time member of the Church of the Good Shepherd with my wife, uh, Fleury. We've been here for uh, quite some time. Uh, my wife, Fleury, grew up in this church. We were married in this church in 1969. And after a couple of years in the Army and some time in law school, we established our family here in the mid-70s. I would have thought as a young professional just starting out that by the time I reached the age that I am now, that I would have sort of figured everything out. Uh, it wasn't long after that, uh, as I traveled on life's journey, and life is a journey for all of us, that I realized you never quite figure it all out. Uh, you never know exactly where you are on that road, where you're going, and you certainly never know where you're gonna end up. But along the way, there are a couple of things that I've learned that are very important to me and that have an impact upon my decision about giving. First and foremost, we're taught to love our neighbor. Doesn't mean necessarily the neighbor around the corner or the neighbor uh, across country or around the world. It's everybody who's your neighbor. We know that from the gospel. And as a corollary to that, we're also taught to serve. Not to be served, but to be servants. And the third prong that is important to me in my decision about giving, and it's not necessarily theologically based, but it's the idea that I, I want to live without a lot of regrets. Uh, a good friend of mine told me many years ago when I was about to make a major decision professionally, um, he asked me, he said, well, if you don't do this, will you spend the rest of your life regretting it? I will tell you that I've spent a lot of money on a lot of things. Some of things, some things I'm happy with, some things I'm not but I have no regrets about money I've spent on education for us and for our family. And I have no regrets about money that I've given away. And when making decisions about what to give away, uh, Floyd and I look at a couple of things. And I think, first of all, we look at it through the lens of loving our neighbor. And secondly, through the concept of being, being a servant and serving. And I believe that the, the gifts that I've made to this church and organizations that we care about have fulfilled that goal, and that's why we give. I'm not telling you what to do. Each of us has a different situation. What's right for me, it may not be right for you, and what's right for you may not be right for me. But I hope that when you make your stewardship decision, that you will do it through analysis of loving your neighbor and trying to be of service. And if you do that, I feel confident that you will have no regrets. Thank you.